Hello techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. In the previous module, we learned about connectors. Now, in this module, we will learn about triggers and actions of a connector. Each connector offers a set of operations which are classified as actions and triggers. Once you connect to the underlying service, these operations can be easily leveraged with your apps and workflows. First of all, we'll see what is trigger. A trigger is an event that happens when you start a flow or a process. Several connectors provide triggers that can notify your app when a specific event occurs. There are two types of triggers that we have as part of Power Automate. One is polling triggers, another one is pushing trigger. Polling trigger is basically an event that periodically makes a call to your service to look for a new data. When a new data is available, it causes a new run of your workflow instance with the data as an input. If you see, under the polling triggers, we'll get it as postman as well as the custom connectors or the example for the polling triggers. Now, we'll talk about the push triggers. Push triggers listens for the data on an endpoint they want to wait an event to occur. When the event has occurred, what will happen? A new run of your workflow instance will be started. So for an example, if you see in Office 365 Outlook as well as Gmail and Outlook.com, these are all the things will work on the push triggers. Whenever a new mail or whenever a mail has been flagged up, you no, know, in that case, the trigger will listen our data on the endpoint and then the particular actions will be happened. Now we'll talk about the actions. Actions are changed directed by an user. For an example, you would use an action to insert the data, update or delete the data in an Excel. All actions directly map to operations defined in this swagger. Now I will show you an example what kind of triggers are there and what kind of, uh, of actions are there for the Outlook. For the Outlook, we are having triggers as well as the actions. If you see under the triggers, we are having a lot of triggers. One is when a new email arrives, when an email is flagged, when a new email mentioning me as arrives. These are all the triggers. If you see on my left hand side, when a new event is created, when an event is added, updated, or deleted, when an event is modified, when an upcoming is event is started soon. These are all the triggers that what we have in our Outlook. And Outlook is also one of the popular connectors that what we have in the Power Automate. Along with that, we can see the actions. There's a lot of actions. I have defined only a few of the actions on my right hand side. That is create contact, create event, send an email, delete contact, delete email, delete event, flag email, and many more actions are available for the Outlook along with the triggers. Now, I will show you an example where we are going to use these triggers and actions. For an example, you know, in my Outlook, I'm having an Outlook with my email ID. When a new email is arrived to that Outlook, that is the triggering point for my Outlook, so that Whoever has sent a mail to me, I want to fetch all the details into my Excel online. How can I go ahead and do that? If you see on my right, left hand side, I'm having the triggers about when a new mail is arrives and the details, all the details it will collect from the connector by using connectors and then all the data based on the trigger, it will insert the data into the Excel online by using the actions. That is one of the insert data. Now I will show you this example by connecting to Power Automate. Switch to Microsoft Power Automate portal. Now we are going to work with the demo over the connectors, right? Click on connectors tab. Under this connector, we will find a lot of popular connectors. Which of the one we are going to work it out? That is Outlook.com. Click on that. Now once you click on the Outlook.com, that you will find a triggers over here. Triggers, a trigger is an event that starts a flow. As I have already explained to you under Outlook that you are having a lot of triggers. One is when a new email arrives, 
when a new event is created, when an email is flagged, when an event is added, when an upcoming event is starting soon, and when a new email mentioning me arrives, when an event is modified. These are all the triggering points so for the Outlook. All right, now in our demo, when a new email arrives, that is my triggering point, let me click on that. Now, can you see over here, when a new mail arrives, this is the triggering point for my flow. And you can see there's a lot of options like folder, that which folder that your mail is arriving. By default, I'm going to give it as the inbox over here. To CC, to or CC from include attachment, subject filter, importance only with attachment. These are all the properties I can say. Properties related to this when a new mail is arrives. So I'm not going to be filtering out or you know, I'm not going to give any kind of properties over here to filter the emails over there. So that I'm going to click on next step. So what will happen when a trigger is happening, the next action has to be happened, right? Click on new step to perform the actions. Click on that. Now, if you see, choose an action. So there's a lot of actions out there. You can see such connected and actions. I can have all built-in standard premium. You, in the previous session, we have seen what are the standard connectors, premium connectors also. So now if I want to select any standard connection, you can go ahead and you can select them. If you want any premium license, if you have, you can connect with the premium connectors. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on all. And then you can see there's a lot of connectors are available. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Outlook to show the actions, what kind of actions are available under Outlook. If you see when I'm going to select this outlook.com, these are all the actions as I have informed, create, connect, create, event, send an email, delete contact, delete email, all these are all the actions. But here, as I said, every connector having triggers as well as the actions, right? So now I'm not going to work with this. I'm going to work with actions with the Excel, right? Now let me delete this. I'm going to click on new step again. I'm going to use Excel online business. Now for the actions over here, what I want to do, I want to insert the data into the table. You can see over here, add a row into the table, select that. Before going to work with Excel action that is add a row into the table. Now let me show you what kind of data that I'm going to insert in my Excel. Okay, now we are in Excel online. Now if you see I have created an Excel with the name of email details and over there we are having a table with the columns from to message subject and the sheet name is email. So what I'm going to do whatever the mails that I have received I have to insert with these kind of details over here. Now let me go back to my flow and over here, I'm going to give the location over here as OneDrive for business. I'm going to select document library as OneDrive and the file. You can see when you have browse over here, show picker, you will find email details, right? That I'm going to select it. And the table name you can see over here, once you are going to drop down, that is I'm having table two. Okay. now. If you see over here, once I have selected table two, I will get all kind of columns over here from to message subject. So in from what kind of data that I have to get it? This is the dynamic content where you will get it from the trigger. You can see over here from, I'm going to mapping one to one, from, from, to, I'm going to select two over here and the message, I'm going to give it as body and the subject, is the mail subject which I'm going to give it. Or else you can directly, if you don't find it, you can search it over here and then you can select it. Now, I have mapped all the you know, columns which from Outlook and then I'm going to save it. Now, our flow is ready. What I'm going to do, I want to test this. How can we test this flow? By clicking on test, click that. Over here, I will perform the trigger action because of I don't have any previous data so that I will select this action. Save and test it. Now, you can see this, to see it work now, send an email to your inbox. This may take a few minutes because of it will, this trigger is on push trigger, working on push trigger. Whenever I am going to send 
a mail to the particular outlook then only it will starts working now what i'm going to do from my mobile i'm going to send a email to that outlook i have sent it once a new mail has arrived to outlook it will starts working and it will insert the data into the excel now if you see a new mail has been received and so that you know i'm going to get the details from to and message on the subject this is how a flow is working with connectors by using outlook connector i hope you understand what are the different types of components of of a connector that we have seen a demo for the outlook what are the triggers that we have for the outlook and also we have seen the action by using an excel online Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.